what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a very cozy, I'm in my sweatshirt, just got out of work, can't hold off any longer from opening this unplugged book box unboxing for you. <laughs> so yeah, so I just got out of work. The box has been sitting here. Um, this I, I meant to open this last week. However, we had a death in the family. I had to take an impromptu trip to Pennsylvania for the funeral. And <laughs> here we are now on Monday. And yeah, so why a unplugged book box if you're unfamiliar with them? They are a subscription service for the book lover in all of us. Um, they also include some items that will kind of pique your bookish fandoms, but a lot of the items inside are meant to unwind, make you relax, and so forth. So, a little bit more information. So the box is $34.99 a month plus $8.99 shipping. Now they do ship pretty much everywhere in the United States. There's a, or I'm sorry, in the world. There are a couple of places they don't ship to. So you're going to want to go down to the link I have left you and find out if they ship to you, what your shipping costs would be, because it's going to be different for everyone. And then, like I said, you do get four to six goodies in here, bookish items, and a brand new YA release. Um, so, little spoiler fun, I do actually know the book that's inside here, and not only do I know what the book is in here, I have read the book that is in here. So I was very lucky, and uh, I got an arc of this book, so now I'm going to have my own copy, because I have to return the arc. So, let's get cracking, because I've been dying to open this. All right, so this is the March 2020 Young Adult Box. They also have an adult box, too, if you're not interested in Young Adult. Also, too, if you follow them on Instagram, if you get... Oh, something in here smells delightful. Um, get their emails. They have kind of like one-off, like, special boxes. Like, they do a horror box, which I love to get... Um, and yeah, all sorts of different fun things. So here we have the little pamphlet. I love that they've been doing this. There's little sneak peeks inside. And then on the back, I feel like they did this last week too. It says March in the front, but then it says March sneak peek in the back. This is actually April. So um, for the young adult, the theme is going to be inner power. So really cool. Yes. We're going to set this aside, and let's dig in. Let's figure out what is smelling so good. Okay. So this is a read and relax bath bomb slash shower steamer, and it's in the smell lavender champagne. I think this is what I've been smelling. Yeah, this is what I'm smelling. It's really pretty. It's like purple and white and it's very swirly. I love this. This is from, does Unplugged make this? Yeah, Unplugged Book Box made this. So that's cool. Luna's already trying to get up here. She's like, can I have some of this? Hi, baby. Oh, there you go. You can have that. It's all you. Get it, girl. All right. Next in here, we have, this is a roller perfume. It says roses, sugars, and ember. And this is Le Leia. Leia. And this is from Natural Pure Honest. Um, it's got coconut oil in it, fragrance oil, and rose petal. So I'll do a close-up of this eventually. Um, let me see if I can, all I can smell is this bath bomb right now. Ooh, that's really pretty. Yeah, it's got like a sweeter note to it. So roses, sugar, embers. You definitely 
smell the roses in it. Ooh, nice. That's nice. Nice spring smell. We're all getting into spring. Spring is officially here now. <laughs> Don made me bring in my uh, my sign that says Hel uh, hello winter. He's like, okay, we're done here. Bring the sign in. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, we have a plate. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So they've been doing a series of like maps. Like, um, sometimes books have maps in it, which I love. If you're going to do a fantasy book and it's a different world, make sure there's a map. I love a map in a book. That's just how I am. So this is the Shire, the Shire, the Shire, the Shire, the Shire. So the Shire is the Hobbit. Okay, the Shire, I'm pretty sure the Hobbit or could be Lord of the Rings, could be either one, but this is a gorgeous plate. It's really pretty. I really love this. Yes, I love, love a book with a good map in it. All right, next in here, we have, this is from Lichen and Limestone. This is the Dalloway Five, and it says, Balsam fir trees, wood smoke, and ghosts. Ooh, this is... This smells like man. If you know man scent, this smells like man scent. Ooh, that's really good. The Dalloway Five. I feel like I'm familiar, like, it sounds familiar to me, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm not going to make any guesses until we get to the card. <laughs> All right, this is the Wolf. Cedarwood Ock... Oak moss, uh, oak moss, and amber, and it's a hand cream. And this is from Fiction Bath Company. Can't really smell it. Maybe it has a seal. Nope. You can kind of smell it. So you can kind of smell it. it has a very subtle smell to it. So if you don't like lotions with a crazy amount of perfume. That's probably perfect. Okay, I think we've gotten through all of the items. Just going to pull that out of here. I'm gonna grab the paperwork down here. I'm so excited. Ever seen this book? Like I have a very floppy arc of this book. And the other thing, I'm making a mess. The other thing, too, I noticed while I was reading it, they had it on Goodreads, but, like, the pages didn't match up. So I'd be very interested to see if, like, in the final cut, they just didn't. I don't know. I have no idea. So we have the author's note. We have a bookmark. It's really cool. And we have our signed book plate. Let's open this up! Oh, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. So, the book that I have already read and I loved is Extasia by Claire Le Legrand. She was the one that wrote Songkill Girls. So, if you've read Songkill Girls, this is that same author. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that spine. Oh. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Just give me a moment. I just want to look I want to look through it. This is beautiful. I like this. This they had this in the book too for these like chapter headers, I guess. Not chapter headers, but like sections. There's like different sections. So cool. Yes. Okay, now how many pages are there in here? 
yeah, I feel like it's the same amount of pages. I'm going to do my best to tell you about Ecstasia. So we follow our main character. Um, her name changes a couple times in the story. And I, I'm just going to leave it at that because it kind of, um, yeah, it has to do a lot with the story. So we follow our main character and she is living in this town called Haven. Is it Haven? If I remember correctly, Haven. Yes, she's living in this town called Haven, um, where these people believe that they are the last people on earth, that God has saved them and um, they are able to live because of God, but they're the only ones on earth. Um, we then find out that uh, our main character has gotten these powers have developed these powers and she's starting to realize that haven is maybe not what it's what it what it is so she's hearing stories about these different possible other people in this world and and she's kind of it's her rise against the town of haven so if you liked um what's this what's the movie the village by m night Shyamalan. if you've ever seen that this is very very similar it's kind of religious cult-ish, if you will, um, but it's so good. It's so, so good. I was just so engrossed in all of it. I really highly suggest if you got this box or if you see this, pick this up. It was a really good read. So, yeah, that was everything in my YA Unplugged Book box for March. Let me grab a little cheat sheet so I can tell you more information. There is in here, there is a strawberry rhubarb pie recipe, which, yum. Um, and then, let's see, we'll go through. So the candle, the Dalloway Five, that's from A Lesson in Vengeance. Um, the hand cream is for the Wolf, I've never even heard of that before. Um, the perfume is from Ember and the Ashes. We have our bath bomb. Our collectible map plate is uh, Lord of the Rings. Yep, I was right. Um, yeah, and then we have the book. So that is everything. What did you guys think of this box? I am so happy to have an actual copy of this. I was, I'm, I'm very grateful to have this because I read it and now I actually like have a finished copy, which is awesome. Uh, let me know what was your favorite thing. Did you guys read Ecstasia, lot, Ecstasia yet? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this book. And until next time, I'll see you guys all real soon. Bye!